Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Silver here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's talk straight. Do some housekeeping while I'm here. Share this. Please like, share. You don't have to tell me where you're from. You don't have to tell me how you are. You gotta tell me nothing. But uh Hope you're enjoying the, the lovely weather in the UK. Beautiful, lovely snow. And uh, interesting evening today. Interesting topic. Not the normal topic that normal people like to actually come on and log into not the normal cup of tea not the normal thing but at times you got to go against the flow you don't follow the normal pattern you don't stick to the typical Power of gadgets. What's this? Okay. Well, well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Silburn here. Just welcome, and I um, hope you're having a, a wonderful day. Um, my name is Silburn Sidil. I'm the host of The Late One. And my topic today is Should ex prime ministers shut up? You know, I'll let it land eventually. But first of all, I just want to ask you is um, how have you been? How have you been with the the weather? The weather has been um, very crazy in the UK, ladies and gentlemen. Um, very, very crazy. Um, first, you had this beast from the east, right? This beast from the east. And now I understand that you got a freaky, freaky storm coming. <laughs> a freaky, freaky storm. And this freaky, freaky storm is uh, i'll tell you what the name of his freaky freaky storm is it's crazy man i mean every day the weather people saying that things will be um okay now we are getting to the end of it and then something happens right so this storm emma which is coming up now to bring about 50 centimeters of snow so you got the beast from the east which is coming from russia russia with love i think putin has sent something so what they're saying storm emma next is to bring up to 50 centimeters of snow we got a red alert an amber alert hi leslie how are you red alert red amber alert red warning is in place which means the lives could be in danger as tom emma brings more blizzards blizzard travel warning as tom hits uk where are these things come from you know what i blame brexit everything is brexit now you got a pothole is brexit Toys R Us shutdown is Brexit. 
division in the world is Brexit, you know, and um, and 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 that that's the whole um, that's the whole thing which is happening. So that's interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mezzino, Yannick, Janet, um, the ladies and gentlemen, please share this video. Um, please share this. Um, I I I am on a Facebook live. Another thing also today is today's World Book Day. World Book Day, which is a very um, interesting day. And as a result, if you have seen my Facebook page, you'll see that I'm giving away this book, but not me, the author, one of the co-authors of the book, which is um, Paula Perry. She's actually giving away and there's a question which is put out there. There's a question in the video. You check the video. Um, and you will find uh, the question where you can get this book, Black British History, by Paula Perry, one of my previous guests. Because of World Book Day as well, because that is an educational thing. You also have La Petite Negres. La Petite Negres, that's one of my guests, Sheila Farrell. If you check it out as well, you'll see a video where she asks a particular question as well, whereby you can actually get the book if you answer the questions. Um, sorry, Instagram land, yes. You can get the book, which is La Petite Negres. If you go to my Facebook page and it's, or go to the Silburn YouTube channel, and you see a 60 or 40 second video where she's actually saying, um, if you want to win this book about La Petite Negres, you can actually um, ask a particular question which she asks if you answer it and you follow the instruction. And also Black British history. One of the things that I keep talking about is this. I keep saying Black history is not about once per year which is a month right now well it just finished can you think about it it just finished in the uk in the usa black british history just finished black british month i mean black, black history month just finished in the uk it was october so therefore what are we gonna do uh do nothing until nah i've actually said ladies and gentlemen that it is once per year which is what they normally say but uk once per year which is october one month per year which is usa february but i've changed it i always like to change things i've changed it to say it is once per week yeah and when anybody asks me once per week for how long how many days i say every single day every single day once per week it could be every day and you can actually learn about black history and all those sort of things and all we got to do is say wakanda okay so therefore we don't wait for things to happen we make it happen ladies and gentlemen we've got to change the game it's just like when i hear these different um quotations quotations that we know for years one of the favorite one which we normally say is this the sky is the limit we always say the sky is the limit but i change it and say the sky is the start why follow the normal procedures don't put your hat where you can't reach it i hate that term i hate that terminology I hate it. I abhor it. I don't know what it means. I don't know where it came from and I don't want to know. But you don't put your hat where you can't reach it. I say put your hat where you can't reach it. Go up higher. Above. Above. And then you aspire. Then you reach. You climb. You pay somebody. Whatever. You can do something to get up there. All the way to the top. You know. From the bottom to the top. As Drake said. Starting from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Starting from the bottom. Where to, you know. And all those sort of things. So. Yeah. So. My topic today is, um, it, it is one which is not the normal topic that persons would normally talk about. Uh, the typical Facebook Live will talk about um, different different things. Um, but I tend to always go against the grain and look at uh, uh, topics like um, things on politics. Um, you know, what is happening? What is some of the poignant thing which is happening around us? And one of the key things that, that's been happening around us ah yes the sky is a start i like that that have been my belief system too yes uh yes on instagram land thank you very much i believe that the sky is a start let me hear what you think about the sky is a start so i put up this topic here today and and this topic is uh it's very simple should ex-prime ministers shut up yeah. Should ex prime ministers shut up? Also, should ex presidents shut up? I don't know what you think about that. What do you think I mean by that? 
should Prime Ministers, ex-Prime Ministers, shut up? Kadia Cook, Kavita Sander. Ah, Berlin, Germany. I tell you what, might as well ask people where they're calling from, where they're coming from. I've got Germany on. I know I've got Birmingham on. <laughs> I know I've got um, London on. I know I've got people in the snow on. Um, so it'd be great, you know, it'd be great to hear where you're from and everything like that. Um, you don't have to say uh, what you're doing, how you're feeling. I'm not Facebook. Facebook always put up this thing is how you're feeling. I don't need to know. Um, you don't need to tell me anything. But if you want to, it'd be great. It'd be great to have this level of interaction. The question is, should ex-prime ministers shut up? Right? You see, the word ex means ex. What does ex mean? Ex-girlfriend? Ex-partner? X X X X X. Ningy 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 in your ears. That's what X do. I was listening to one of my favorite songs today, just a moment ago. I really wanted to play it, but I can't because Facebook will always say, Oh, we've got to block you because you're actually stealing someone's music. Craig David, I'm walking away from trouble in my life. I'm walking away to find a better day, you know. I'm walking away. Brexit, yes? This is what the topic really about. Uh, this is what it is about, about the whole aspect of Brexit. It's about the Prime Ministers, ex-Prime Ministers, interfering with the process. NCUS. When you say NCUS, you've got to break that down. NCUS. NCUS is um, um, Newcastle, USA. Um, <laughs> um, Northern Carolina, US. Dave Cameron. David Cameron also, I'm talking about. David Cameron, ex-Prime Minister. When Dave, when, when I, I, I was actually going to try to see if I can um, have a chat with um, Craig David and say, Craig David, can we actually create a version of that song? And uh, if you know the video with Craig David, and you see the ladies on his case and he say, give me a break and stuff like that, you know, you know I'm walking away from trouble in my life. And the UK, I believe, is actually walking away from trouble in their life. Europe. Yeah, Europe. People might say, what do you mean by that? I, I, I say this all the while. And I say this all the while in, in regards to uh, purple. Uh, and it, it impacts in people's life as well. When a door is closing and it is shutting, let it shut. Don't try to... Um, keep the door open let it shut ladies ladies and gentlemen um for those who are in, in in the uk let me know how the weather is i'm hearing some serious wind outside there i normally keep one of the windows open in my office here at home when i'm doing facebook live or sometimes get hot with the lights and uh i just say ooh, 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 you know that uh that the, the the thing is um let it snow let it snow let it snow you know the thing is christmas it's beginning to seem like christmas and you know commercial break moving on so brexit was an act an election and a referendum in the uk which determined whether the UK stay or leave right the decision was made based on the polls that day when Jonathan David Dimbleby said this the UK has voted to leave the EU that was it right and and as someone said a while ago when one door closed another one opened there are doors sometime ladies and gentlemen I guess my talk is going somewhere different now. There are doors that will close and start closing. And you'll see the signs. You'll see the signs to know that those doors are closing. And as a result of that door being closed, if you keep trying to hold on to it, um, now, I just want to do a quick commercial thing here. Um, ladies and gentlemen on Instagram land, let me know if you can hear me clearly. If you can hear me clearly, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I'm going to do something else. Um, I'm putting another mic inside here. Let me know if you hear it better or you hear it worse. You know, 
let me know you see when a door is closing let it close you can hear me clearly fantastic let it close because only when it close you will see the opportunities that will come your way when the door close you will see the opportunities that will come your way but if you keep trying to keep that door open because you, are, you, you lack that vision the vision of the future you see when you got guys like Steve Jobs guys like Richard Brunson guys like Alan Sugar if they stayed within the spheres of their comfort zone if they stay within the spheres of what they can see you wouldn't have what we're doing now with these technology with iPhone and these gadgets because persons were able to see just one second I'm um, Shelly Shelly can you ask Keen to keep it down for a bit sorry <laughs> just just have a chat um, my son is going on a bit <laughs> loud um, yeah uh, so w when you have these sort of things there w which happen one has got to actually think about it so my topic today is, is one which is very clear and Lim Prisoner said former Prime Ministers are senior non business so they qualify to give guidance in Brexit they have been involved in negotiating a high level during their administration of that magnitude fair enough I believe that Prime Ministers and ex-Prime Ministers need to shut up what do you think you see an X is an X yeah of recent days you have had uh, John Major former Tory Minister for Tory Prime Minister Conservative Prime Minister was intervening to the the, the Brexit debate and, and and what he's saying is that I hate making a speech which will cause friction with my own party but I cannot sit there and watch us moving in a direction that is going to be damaging for millions of ordinary people right and John Major was the one who actually didn't want anybody to do anything when we have the other Maastricht and and the other um, I forget an, another treaty with, with Europe then you have the person who is actually seeking to be the next president of Europe Tony Blair he calls it an historic mistake and if there's any way we can undo it then we should Tony Blair speaks to broadcast Sir John Major says Parliament should take control and insist on a second referendum if necessary should ex-prime ministers shut up why you've got the new prime minister which is Theresa May you have an opposition leader which is Jeremy Corbyn which is around the country yes they have influence yes they have made a, an impact in society but they are X what is an X do you want an X to come into your life and to keep running it every minute knocking on your door with your children do you want that that's what an X is talk about Brexit exit it means move on moving on so when you see so so okay right fair enough I put the question out there which is correct are they should they shut up or well by virtue of fact that they are citizens still of the state where they are in they are, of course they have a right to speak let's fly over to the United States of America what you're seeing happening now with the Trump factor is whereby Trump is not accepted by half of Americans or maybe more of half Americans or whatever like that but he's a legitimate president some people call it illegitimate for years you have a situation where all presidents sort of have this code of conduct or this gentleman understanding where they actually keep quiet they don't interfere um, with the, the running of the nation by the new president because while they are deemed as presidents they are deemed as ex-presidents ex-leaders former prime ministers former leaders ex-girlfriend ex-husband 
X, Y, X, X, X. They need to stay in the background. I put it to you. Because guess what? There's a thing which is called an anointing, yeah? For those who are in the Christian circles. Or there's a thing which is called a mantle. For those who are in, who understand the whole aspect of legacy and moving forward. I believe it takes wisdom and it takes um, courage and it takes vigor and resolute for leaders, ex-leaders, to stand back and allow things to take its place. Because guess what? No man, no man has the ultimate responsibility or control of the direction of a country, no matter what. Brexit, as it is there, why it is creating this massive upheaval is because a door is closing it is shutting and people are holding back onto it and if you hold on to something which you need to let go of what happens you'll never move forward it creates division complete division and yes it's a free country where freedom of speech is respected that is correct everyone has a right to speak not being shut by anyone whatever the case may be that is correct but we are talking about a high level now, high level of leadership. When you're in a company and organization, and this is what I'm talking about. If you're in a major company, major organization, major corporation, the ex chairman doesn't come in to that boardroom and try to tell persons how to operate. You've got to understand the principles there. And I go back again to a house. If you're a householder and your family you, you, you have an ex-wife or whatever like that. They don't come back just because they have freedom of speech. Nah. They have freedom of speech, but that freedom of speech stays there because they are ex. X factor. X. X, 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 X. That's my view. Mark you. That's my view. That's my position, what I'm saying. And not just because I'm a Brexiter in the sense of the word of one who actually voted for Brexit. But because I see what is happening here. What is happening is that the decision is not respected. The democratic decision is not respected. Hence the reason why you've got persons like Tony Blair, like David, Ke like, like uh, Tony Blair and John Major, former prime ministers, coming out of the woodwork and actually trying to say, this is the, un this is the greatest mistake, the horrible mistake ever been made. How do you know that? We, don't, we have, guess what? We have not even Brexited yet. That's for the reality. We have not. Brexit will take place officially the 29th of March 2019. All that is happening right now is a process. The negotiations, the discussions, Parliament will have a say in the way. And of course, these ex ministers, but these ex prime ministers have a weight of influence. No matter what. But a lot of personal agenda and grandeur is also incorporated in that i go back to you if you are the head of a corporation if you are the head of your business if you are the head of your charity you're going to bring in your ex boss and say who say listen man i don't think you are doing it right you know they're ex they do not have the foresight anymore the vision has left them why do you think sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you will have persons within a party, persons within an organization. I've been there for years. And then the mantle of leadership comes upon them. And then all of a sudden, they are seeing things which you ask a question. So why didn't you say that? Why when they're actually even campaigning? When they're actually campaigning and they're having um, their, their level of... Uh, 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 discussions and their agenda and their 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 their, their what is called manifesto they're saying things which you're saying hang on a second you have been sitting down on all these information all this time why were you keeping it no it's not that they were sitting on it it's because they weren't released with the mantle and the foresight because of that leadership mantle which comes upon them so John Major, Tony Blair, do not have the foresight for the UK, for the direction of where this country is going at this time. I tell you that, and I kid you not, because they do not have the mantle of leadership for this nation. The mantle of leadership upon this nation is upon Jeremy Corbyn and Theresa May 
and the president cabinet that is the structure and authority of leadership you cannot have leadership and then you got persons coming on the on the side and the back side like a dog biting 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 and i tell you what and i kid you not you may not like it as well what i'm going to say now but donald trump as the mantle and authority for leadership and the direction of the united states of america love it or like it load it or leave it that's the actual reason yes just like jimmy carter yes like president clinton they can be there in the periphery and they can give some sort of guidance and they can be this council of the elders that's their role it is a godly principle it's like in a church you don't have an ex-leader of the church coming in there trying to actually divert the sheep.